Five years ago today, I died on my sister's bathroom floor. It was October 18th, 2016, and I had not done heroin for about two weeks up until this day. I was living in Chicago at the time, but I was visiting my family in St. Louis that week. The day started off really awesome. I went to this festival with my sister and my niece and my nephew. We had a great time. This picture is from that day. I love this picture, and it's crazy to me that it was almost the last picture taken of me alive. After the festival, I was supposed to go to my other sister's house to hang out with her and her four kids. However, I had started getting cramps. I get really, really bad cramps, and it was a pretty easy excuse for me to be like, I'm going to go get just a little bit of dope. When I picked up the dope, it looked like crack. I immediately saw it and was like, this is bunk ass dope. It's not going to do anything. And I was like, you know what? If it's bunk, it's bunk. That's probably what I deserve. You know, like I'll be in Chicago in like two days and I'll just get high then. Whether it was bunk or not, I still told myself that I was not going to use before my sister's house. I wanted to be present when I was hanging out with the kids and I was just going to use on my way home in the car before I got back to my parents' house. That was my plan. And my plan worked for a while. I went to her house, hung out with them for a few hours, and like 30 minutes before I left her house, my stomach really started to hurt. And I told myself, fuck it, go to the car, get your shit, and go do a tiny shot. So I go get my shit, I go to the bathroom, I cook it up, and it cooks up clear. And I'm immediately like, yep, I fucking knew it, this is bunk ass dope, like god damn it, whatever. So I had this thing that I would count to 10 after I shot up, because that's like when it would hit me. With this shot, I made it to three. On one, I was like, holy shit. On two, I hit the wall. On three, I went down. This was the smallest shot I had ever done in my life. There is absolutely no way I can fit this story into three minutes, so I'm going to stop it here, and if y'all want a part two, just let me know.